Hey there, everybody. This is TJ Fowler for Skull Banger Media. Uh, this is one of my rare occasions that I'll get to actually uh, do a little review slash gameplay footage of a, of a game for the website. Uh, as most people that frequent my site, they'll know I'm a heavy metal horror movie website. But I do try on occasion to do uh, PC games uh, when I feel they fit the theme of the site and when I can actually play them. So this is uh, Darkest Dungeon. Uh, this is a uh, rogue-styled type uh, PC game, which means it's a, it's randomized and it's uh, what happens in the game is permanent. You can't save and then go back and correct any mistakes that may have happened. So if your characters die, they die. Uh, if you make a mistake in a mission, it's it's permanent. Uh, the game is also very horror-oriented uh, uh, and kind of HP Lovecrafty uh, stuff going on. Which is interesting. I've played it for a little while. I wanted to get some uh, uh, some experience playing the game a little bit. I've had some setbacks. I've had some uh, some success and so on. So what I've decided to do today is that uh, I'm going to continue my campaign of the Fowler Estate right here, and uh, I'm getting ready to go on a mission to take on the Siren in the uh, in the Cove uh, section of the game. So here we go. This is a little hamlet. Uh, our story is right back here in the shadows is our old family estate that we've come to uh, bring out of the darkness of the land. Uh, our ancestor uh, decided to unlock some unmentionable evil. He sent a letter to us and then committed suicide and we're here to kind of liberate the land from the evil that resides in it. So what I've done, I've got a party that should be ready to go. I think, wait a minute, I think I did not save... It did not. I had a party put together. Uh, I'll have to, what I'll do, I'll get that ready and I'll edit out the, the boring stuff and then I'll come back as soon as we got uh, uh, something ready to go here. Uh, I'll be doing this mission, but I've got to edit my party up here a little bit. And uh, if this takes too long, I'll edit it out. And uh, you guys won't have to worry about this boring business. Okay, so I'm back here now. Uh, this is the areas that you can explore at the top of the hill here. It's like I mentioned before is the manor. Those are like suicide missions. I've not been able to get into there. These are a list of characters on the side uh, that you can pick from. Uh, people that's played the game, you'll understand that these little blocks here are stress levels. If they get too much stress on your characters, they go insane. They already get mental afflictions as it is. So I've picked characters that are relatively low on stress right now and that I think might be pretty well equipped to go in here on the cove to take care of some of these threats and hopefully kill the creature. Now, I'll give you a quick preview of my characters. Uh, this is a, kind of a paladin guy. Uh, I've, I've got him in here because he's got some positive attributes for these type of creatures and places. Uh, the cove explorer and the eldritch hater. And these are his negative traits. See, he's got god-fearing, ruminator. They all got that. She's got quite a few, but I don't think they're anything that's going to be necessarily something I have to worry about too much on the mission, but she's got a lot of nice uh, positives. And then uh, I've got this guy. He's a plague doctor. He can throw out plague grenades and stuff, which is helpful against the eldritch people. And uh, this is going to be my kind of a healer. She's, she's not the best at, at healing in terms of a cleric, per se, but uh, she, she does okay. Uh, hopefully it'll be enough because uh, my healers are kind of really bummed out right now. Uh, they're really messed up. And I don't really have a, a, a good substitute otherwise. Uh, but I got some guys in here uh, that can do different things. She can bleed creatures. Uh, the creatures in the cove are a little bit more resilient to bleed, but they're not resilient to blight, which is what the Plague Doctor is for. Because I actually got a character that's probably a little bit stronger than him overall, but... Uh, I'm trying to think a little strategically here. So, I'm not done this mission yet. As I said, it's a permanent uh, uh, game. It's a rogue game, so I wouldn't be able to show you anything unless I do it in real time. And uh, I gotta get provisions. And let's buy some stuff. You gotta have torches. Because if the lights go out, your guys stress out, and it's easier to get killed. Make sure I got plenty of torches. Food is very important. Gotta have food to eat. Uh... These are, gets rid of your blights if you get blighted or poisoned. These are some medicines. Bandages, if you're bleeding out, will patch you up. 
And uh, let's see what happens. Uh, this is a quick purview. Hopefully, I've got some stuff enough to keep me alive. Um, I'll buy me a bottle of that. Got me some medicines. Okay. Oh, shovels. Yeah. Don't forget shovels. Okay. So, I uh, spent a lot of money. The cost of these things are very uh, high in this game. So, anyway, let's get going. Let's see what happens. My lofty position wasn't always accompanied by the fear of office. And there was a time when I could walk the streets or raise a glass in the tavern without concern for molestation. Fateful as the tide, one precocious village waif made it her hobby to shadow my every errand. Mm. It was charming then. Troublesome later. She's a beauty. She's hot. Alright, so here we go. Like I said, I'm not done this. This might be a very short-lived video. Let's, let's hopefully I can get to the boss character, so let's find out. Alright, so I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little waif. Alright, so I gotta find this waif. We start right here, and I gotta pick these rooms and go through them. So here we go. Let's pick the first room and let's make her march. So Alright, so here is a chest. Let's open it and see what we got. And first not starting off good, fellas. So I got a bleeding. I'm gonna See if I can tough that out, maybe. Let's see. Ugh, maybe I should pack. Uh-oh. Battle time. Here we go. We got surprise. This is not starting good at all. Uh, th yeah, 15 stress. Mm. All right, you didn't get stunned. Okay, so here's my armor list. Let's see if I can move her. I'll move her back one. All right. Oh, man. All right, so let's throw out a play grenade. Let's see if I can damage some people. So I can hit the back two people. That's what these little icons are for. See if I can at least get them poisoned. To try to burn them down. I've got to get him or her up. Let's do that. All right, now here is my Crusader. Uh, that guy's got a lot, a lot of protection. Let's try, let's try taking a big swat at this jellyfish thing. Maybe I can get lucky and knock it out yeah there we go so he's out there's a corpse here oh that's good all right oh, here we go another big stress wave stress is in some ways worse than losing your health points because if this uh, goes up it's bad times for everybody so let's uh let's see if I can uh, stun somebody let's try to stun him and I can move yeah there we go we shuffled them around that's good Got to move her back again. Let's get her all the way back in the back. And let's take a swipe. Let's see, we this guy's going to attack next. However, he's important to get rid of. Let's go for him. There we go. All right. So let's let's see if I can let's see what's the stun percentage. 50, 50. That's dead. It don't matter on that. Let's see. Let's see if I can get lucky and stun this thing. No, I'm gonna get hit right here. Yeah, so. Alright, so let's see if I can. What's his stun resistance? 50. Let's see if I can plague him up again, give him some extra plague damage. That can stack. There, that killed him. That's good. So let's start whittling this guy down. Well, that almost killed him. Uh, I can't uh, I could probably do that and kill him, or I can bandage somebody. Let's let's not take any chances to get rid of that guy. All right, all right. So we got some items, which is good. This is a trinket for a hound master. I don't have them. A torch is always a positive sometimes. So let's go back to our map and let's get down to this next room. All right, so I'm going to go down here, and I'll make a circle around. That way, it keeps me from having to backtrack the rooms. So let's. What is this? All right, uh, let's have him. Well, let's have him search it. He doesn't have as much stress in case it's bad. Oh, I've got a good positive trait there. I've got a willed tactician. That's good. We're not in that area, but maybe good for future excursions. If my oh shit, if my guys live. Mechanical hazards. The 
Uh, so you got stress from oh, need lots of torches. Uh oh, oh, these guys are kind of a pass. Always surprised them. Oh, that's a good sign. So let's see what we start with. I'm going to throw a play grenade on. Yeah. Let's uh, see if I can stun the first two. There we go. And uh, let's see if I can throw down some. Well, I can see. Let's try to bust one of these bad guys up pretty good. Good job. Critical hit. That gives us positives. Yeah. Let's see if I can crack another skull here. There we go. He's going to get a, a shot in, though. All right, that wasn't that wasn't so shabby. So let's uh, pop him one. He'll die next time now when he activates. Uh oh, look out! Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Get rid of one there. Make sure we get getting getting one down. I'm going to bandage up. I'm going to bandage up her. Keep her up there. Let's see if I can crack some skulls. There we go. Good shot. Get some more treasure. This expedition at least promises success. All right. Let's see what we get out of that. Take all that. That's good. Right. So let's go to the next room. Man, we have got to do something about these traps, man. At least he dodged that. I got to eat. That's what the food's for. Yep. And oh, there it is. Oh, oh, this guy's kind of a tank. These, no, uh, this could be kind of rough. Hmm. I could go first too. That's oh, that's a good dodge, yo. Dude. Right. Yeah, see they're getting all this stress. She's already up over half. Alright, so let's do the standard play grenade. Right. Blot them up. Uh can she make any she can uh, what's the bleed re Ah, that might be a bleed that guy. She'll die next turn, or he, or whatever that means. Uh, no, that's fantastic. So, somebody's getting guarded. So, let's see. Let's see if I can tag this guy good. I can still want to be up next turn, though, I think. Yeah. So. Which. Oh, yeah, he's taking the hits. Okay, I can't remember how that works. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, no need to worry about them. Let's see if I can uh, stun somebody up. This guy, he can actually. There we go. Got him stunned. At least he can pay. There, good. Kill yeah. her. The game's really about making like small choices that add up to a lot of positives in the long run. Uh, see what happens. Let's see if I can bleed this guy. Uh, it's going to be tough. 60% resistance on that. Let's try it. Let's see if I can get it in. Kind of start wearing him. I got him. I got him. All right. Let's see if I can kill him. Yep. Get him out of the equation. Let's see. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to heal, heal some of my guys a little bit. Let's uh, let's get her up. See if I can stun him. Stun. Ooh, it's gonna be tough. 
Hmm. I'll try. I don't know. We'll see if it. Nah. Oh no! I got him. I got him. I got him moved too. That's good. All right. So let's start cracking him here. There we go. Good job. All right. I can get everything. Um, how much is that worth? That's I forget that. of the light. You know what? I don't think I've got a very good trap removal person. I do not. That's not good. That's one flaw. Well, she's better at it than I thought. How about him? All right, she's going to be my go-to person for traps. Let's try. That. All right, let's see what we got in here. Some gold. How much is that? Worth? 500. Is there anything in here? Uh, <laughs> let's uh, tell you what. Let's buff up some guys. Uh, oh, shit. Um, get rid of that. I still can't. Uh, well, I'm just going to have to leave it. I, I don't want to drop anything. That's true. So let's go up to this room. Man, these traps are killing me. Glorious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his uh -oh. eyes. See, she's a kleptoman, or she's somebody that wants gold, so she she'll sometimes steal stuff. They'll do that sometimes if they're kleptomaniacs or or gold freaks or something. So, what's in this room? Oh boy! Oh, gotta watch out for this guy. He like blows up and kills everybody. Uh. Man, they get to go first every time. I'm gonna go crazy. I think. I think I'm. I'm gaining too much stress too fast. So, lots of torches. Let's uh, do the standard plague bomb. All right. So let's. Uh, let's see if we can. His bleed resistance. His bleed is pretty crappy. Uh, I might be able to. Well, stun it. Oh, I can't hit him with the bleed. Yeah. Okay. So, how about we just hit him with the standard attack? Oh, good. We'll make sure he goes down. Wow, that's a solid hit right there. There we go. Get some stress off of this. Let's uh, see if I can kill this guy off. No, but he'll die next time. So that's good. 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 Get rid of him. Oh, this guy got another shot in on us. So that's ah, oh, excellent. Uh, let's see if I can stun him. Oh, excellent. Well, she was. And let's see if we can finish it off. Right yeah. Thump some hay on that one. Oh, man, we're losing. And driven tell you what. Mud. That's worth a thousand. Let's take that. And, uh, Dadgum, I hate to leave it. 500. I'm, gonna have, I'm just going to leave it, I guess. Oh, great. You got this. Oh, clip. Oh, I got a. Oh, okay, that's good. That actually turned out good. So let's go down to this next room. Let's see what we find, dude. These traps. What? Watch your step. Not good, man. I can solve that right here, or part of it anyway. Oh, the battles. Let's see. 
Got to make a decision on which one. Uh, I'm not touching that. Let's see. I'm not touching that one either. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I don't think I'm going to make it. The guy's got a bunch of stress piled up on him fast. All right. Hmm. I almost wonder if I should try to shuffle them. Nah. Oh, that, mm, that guy wasn't a priest. It wasn't that big of a deal. So, I need to patch her up. Get her moved out of the way. See if I can throw down this guy. Maybe. I need to see if I there we go. Thou art judged, mofo. Yeah, don't don't stress it, man. Hmm. Don't need that. I'm gonna have to heal her, I guess, when it comes time to for man, we got a ninja here or something. Okay, let's uh Maybe. I'm gonna have to be small. Oh, I can't heal herself. That's mm, that's not good. That's bad right there. Um. Uh, There we go. And then he'll die off for me. So I can heal up. Let's heal him up. Not much, but a little. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Back to portrait with the gold. Let's see what he better than here. Got that. Uh, I'm gonna assume the boss is here. I could be wrong, but this is good to go. Uh, Well, we got a bit of a dilemma. Let's see. Hi. We need to kill this big fucker. Let's see. Yeah, my standing blow. Yeah, all right. We got. Uh, does it stun him? I can shoot him. Let's try. Ha! I got 
I gotta get her healed up. Oh, she's got a freaking the black plague. That's even better. I can't believe she can't heal herself. That's kind of stupid. Uh, I don't heal her too much, Aaron. Let's get rid of this guy. There we go. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Need a bigger backpack. What we got? There's a shovel. That's what we got. Uh, what's going on? Now? Not that torch. Let's get out of here. All right. Uh, scouting out, so we'll get to see a little bit more what's going on. There she is. We got to get there. We got two battles in between us and that. Unfortunately, here it comes. Rid of this. Yeah, get rid of him. Just nail him. Let's see if I can stun one of these. Both of them. Ah, good. This thing's got so much protection on him. I'm going to get it again. See if I can Good, excellent. Get rid of one of them anyway. Mm, not good. He's gonna get a shot off on me, maybe. Or no, I can. There we go. All right. Not enough room. I, I need these, man. Let's see. Friend, pride precipitates a dizzying. Five hundred each. Uh, okay. I hate to drop some of these. Huh? Ah, man. There's a lot of stuff. All right, so let's go. Here's our next. What's in this box? Let's find out. Man, I just don't have the room. That's got. Oh, let's we'll light up some torches. When the torches are out, makes it uh, the monster stronger, and you just get a lot of negatives. You find uh, better treasure sometimes. Oh, here we go. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Let's see. I could bleed these dudes though. Uh, I get a, sw a good swap in on him. There we go. Put the plague grenade on these dudes. There we go. Uh oh. Nice. Ah, well, we're good at dodging bullets. Matrix style, I guess. Let's see. Did I get a good cleave in on this guy? Yeah. Popped him hard right there. And let's see if I can somehow. Mm. I can get him. To, I can't get him down low enough. Uh, let's see if I can kill this gunner. 
There we go. Getting him out of the equation. Uh, this guy can be bad sometimes. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's not too good. Let's see. What's he going to do? Point blank shot? Nope. I just want to stress out a bunch of people. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Take a swap at him. See if we can get rid of him. There we go. Champion balls. This uh actually get rid of the corpses as well. There we go. It's stunning. Killing. No, he's still up. Uh, yeah, he ain't anymore. But I gotta do something about her. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Let's uh. So next step will be. Oh, here's a torch. I'm gonna just light it up right now. And here comes the boss battle. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Uh, we'll find out. You want to watch this, me, Kyle? You want to see the boss battle? <laughs> Here she. Oh boy, she's pretty. All right, so, uh, so, so. Uh, let's see if I can do something. Her stun is fifty. What's my? I got about a sixty percent chance to stun her. The bleed. Uh, let's see if we can get a stun in on her. Get a few wax on. There we go. That's a good start, at least. Uh, the bleed chance. I got about a fifty percent. See if I can bleed her out here a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's do what he does best and take a big whack. There we go. Man, she got a lot of hit points. Uh oh. Oh, good. We got. Oh boy. Mortality clarified in a single mm. strike. Mm. Fantastic. What? How about? Oh God, dude. Really? Let's see. What? Dude, how many turns do you get, woman? Uh oh, he's gonna have a fearful. That's all I need. Let's see. Fear and frailty finally claim their due. Uh, throw. That's gonna hit her. I don't need her to die, but then I don't need to die either, do I? <laughs> so let's see. The blot chance. He's got some stuff to help him with his blot. I want to throw it on her. That, that's that's the kind of hits I need. What? Yeah, traitor. <laughs> uh. I'll throw another blight bomb on her. Yeah, stack that shit up. Ah. Resist! Resist! Ah! Hey, he's done. Let's see if we can make her bleed again. Yeah, let's. There we go. Let's just start tearing that devour. What? Oh my god. Oh, let's just bleed the F up here. Uh, let's get the bleed off. Yeah. I'm gonna have to keep swinging for the fences, fellas. Oh god, did not need that at all. Uh, let's get rid of her blight. Let's get her bleed. Let's see if I can somehow. Can I actually shoot? Yeah. I just need to try to kill it. Yeah. 
Uh -oh. That's okay. Brace up. That's right. Okay, let's. I want to actually try for it. This gives a uh, thirty percent to the bleed chance, so that's like one hundred and forty to her sixty. Huh? So that's a pretty still decent chance. And a good shot on top of that. Yeah, she might actually. Mm. Oh, she's gonna have a virtuous first. Ah, oh, God. Right. Mm -hmm. Who's up? Oh, paranoid. As long as we get the job done now. All right, I'm gonna have to. I wonder if I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing right. Here. Yeah, I got her. Now let's swap out the rest of them. Oh, well, fine. She wouldn't take a heal? Come on. What are you doing? Oh, come on. Oh, you son. Yes! All right. Yeah. All right, so I got, uh, I got all this stuff here. But a victory nonetheless. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drop some things. I'll drop the firewood because I didn't camp. Let's take that. I'll drop the bandage because it's not worth much resale. I'll take this one. What does that do anyway? Yeah. Need the shields. Uh, what else can I drop? I'll eat the food. Need shields badly, yeah, and uh, okay, that's good. All right, so we did it. I made it through, and let's go back to the Hamlet. So, what you've got to do once you get back, and you got to recover your character's wounds. They got to get that stress off off of them, or they'll die of a heart attack. Um, got me an icon there. That's cool, or a trinket. But uh, that's darkest dungeon. Let it let it count up here. I'll show you the, the town here in just a little bit, but. Uh, Makes a pretty decent cache. Got a bunch of stuff that's going to help me build things in the town. These heirlooms help you build different uh, places up, like your abbey and medical resources and tavern and so on. So, oh, uh, and we also get to pick up some extra negative quirks, maybe, or better ones. That actually replaced some nymphomania. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, that's a good positive one. Oh, she's got a tapeworm. I got to get that out of the way. And uh, a lurker. And the night blindness. Let's return to, to the town. The degeneracy of the hamlet yeah. is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. So I've completed a quest goal, which is good. And I've got some guys that's recovered that I had in the various places in the town to get some stress off of them. And here we go. So I'm back. And so this is the town, this is my money, uh, and so on. So, everybody, that was Darkest Dungeon. I hope uh, you enjoyed that. I'm not so sure if I was a, uh, a great play uh, playthrough guy or not. I've not really done that before. But uh, the game is really fun. I got it off GOG.com. Uh, it's about 20 bucks off of GOG. It's a, it's a great game. It's really fun. It's very challenging. Got to be on your toes at all times. But... Uh, Anyway, I hope you like it, and uh, if you like, please subscribe or just like the video, and you can always see me on Skullbanger.net, and until next time, bye.